The city has as many faces as the sea. It's a modern European city. It's a bloody dub. That wall runs with damp in winter. It's an owl in sheep's clothing, white lions roaring on the town hall steps. It's a nightmare on South Parkway after dark. The best thing to come out of Leeds is the M62. It's said that Rudolf Steiner came here for a few hours once and left never to return. He stayed as short a time as possible in this curiously featureless northern city. Its aspect is dour. I doubt it will be possible to base a school here. The river is pestilent from dyes from the mills. There are bad spirits in this place. A deep fog pervaded for several hours, which marred our visit to the workhouse. Which later became St. James Hospital. Now they call it Jimmy's. Bloody heathens. As the millennium comes and goes, see Gledow Wing presenting its facade of red brick and glass to the west. A proud monument to maternity and birth, to rebirth and regeneration. But this is Roundy Wing. No direct sunlight reaches this place. It nestles between other grander hospital blocks for real medicine like oncology, cardiology and having a nose that's slightly too big. It's like an old shed that some eccentric has refused to sell so that the red towers have sprung up around it, leaving a little island of the past at their feet. It is the year 2000. The cries of those desperate to leave Let's Let's out! Out! Let's Let's are matched by those who are desperate to enter. But this is the only service in the world where the customer is always wrong. Those who want to get into a place like this are obviously suffering from disorders of the personality and are untreatable, so we cannot let them in. Those, on the other hand, who wish to leave have not yet realised that they are ill, which is the first step to recovery, so we cannot let them out. Please let me stay. Please. I like it here. The food's nice. It's warm. I want to stay forever. Please. I really like it here. Ah, she's cured. Nurse? No! Discharge papers. I'm not cured. Come on, get off me. Don't sunshine me. No! No! Some people find a way out unexpectedly. The doctor said to me, are you hearing voices? And the voices said to me, say no. So I said no, and then they let me go. <laughs> Now night has fallen like a sedative. Stillness covers the sleepers like a new duvet. The soft heat rises from pipes that were old when spitfires flew over the city. And the walls sweat steam and you wake up full of strange dreams. Penalty shootout in front of the old cop. Everton, fourth round replay. Bloody awful night, pissing down. I've got to score to keep us in. And the goalkeeper's male, French teacher. Middleton Wood, but it's a jungle. I've been lost for days. When I come to a clearing and there's Tesco's, I go in to buy some bread and the checkout girl turns into a leopard. Trying to catch a train, a big old steam engine with a nameplate, William Wordsworth. It's just started to leave and I'm gaining on it until I feel something holding me back. I look down and there's all these daffodils, thousands of them, grabbing at my ankles. The walls are nailed and painted shut, but outside you can sense a raw West Yorkshire night. It's a quiet night down in the doctor's flat where Dr. Uberdose fuddles his eider down as he dreams of a ward round at the People's Dispensary for Sick Animals on Leyland Street. This dog is much too dozy. I prescribe an antidepressant. But sir, he's been hyperactive all day and he kept us up half the night. What? Barking? Yeah. I prescribe cognitive behavioural therapy and 6,000 milligrams of chlorpromazine. Right. It's a bit parky. It smells of wool and coal. Bad for the chest.
chips with curry. I'll have some scraps on that, if you've got them. Nazi graffiti. Breaking glass. Guard dogs barking. Hallucinating burglary at each sad city footstep. It's a quiet night down along the main corridor, where the ghosts of all the ages mingle and drift in flood-strip lighting so bright you half expect Man United or the Chicago Bulls to come trotting out. But not everyone is asleep. On the women's ward, transactions are being made in Roundy Wing's main currency. Have you got a spare cigarette, love? On your roller, if I can find the stuff. It's in here somewhere. Hurry up, love, I'm desperate. My husband's coming tomorrow, but till then, I'm stuck. Well, here's a bit of backy. Filters. Not fussy about filters, are you? Take as it comes, my love. But have you got a roach, though? I like a bit of roach in my joint. Well, haven't got a plant here, but under my bed there is one. I won't tell those Gestapo bastards in the office about this. Call themselves nurses. Ah. Can we get a light on here? I can't roll in dark. If we put the light on, the nurse will come and they'll put us to bed. Oh, bloody hell, here's a fag of sorts. Oh, thank you, love. That's it until That's tomorrow. Just what I need. In the treatment room, a blue spark flickers from a loose wire as if the shock machine is dreaming. In the TV lounge, the night nurse stares at an empty TV screen, although the programme finished three hours ago and the screen is just a swarm of electronic insects. In a dormitory for eight, enclosed by Dorothy Perkins' curtains, about to wake from a three-day sleep induced by an enormous dose of Largactyl, introduced intravenously into the delicate part of the anatomy, Jonathan X. Oh, bloody leave me alone! In his night stallion, he is fighting off an army of white-coated nurses, shouldering arms of three-foot hypodermics, points glistening like bayonets at the Regent Street Territorial Parade. I've got you, sunshine. What the bloody hell's going on? Where am I? He wants to know where he is. What is this place? It's the end of the line. The last chance saloon. It's limbo, baby. Can't you talk some sense? Where am I? Your lost boy like me went for a paper 20 years ago and got abducted by aliens on the 93 to Cookridge. Never been seen since. Used to sing in work and men's clubs. I did it my way. Not now you don't, sunshine. But how long have I been here? Forever! But I don't belong here. It's all been a mistake. That's what they said about me. You don't belong here, love. Just a crack up doing your A-levels. Be all right in six months. That was 12 years ago. I write a diary in a special code so they can't get at me. But I'm not like the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like the rest of us. That's the whole point, you ninny. None of us is like the rest of us. That's why we're here. I've got to get out. He's, He's got, got to, to get, get out. out. No, but I have. I've got to get out. I've got somewhere to be. I've got to meet someone. Well, technically, the boy is free to leave. But of course, if he does try to... They'll slap him on a section and they'll make him stay. It's like the Hotel California. Yeah, you can check out, but you can never leave. Except it's in West Yorkshire. You can say, ta but you can never flit. Look, isn't there any way I can get out? Only with the permission of the head honcho. Who's the head honcho? Only the one who writes the pardons. The one who gives the go-ahead for discharge. Remo himself. Remo? The responsible medical officer. Now do I get to see Remo? You can't. He'll see you when he's good and ready. And you won't even know who he is. He's a shape changer. Sometimes we round and friendly. Then the next time you see him, he'll be seven foot thin and he'll shout the word down. And sometimes he'll be like the good, strong father you always wished you'd had. <laughs> then you'll teach you out of your weekend leave and laugh in your face. And the beauty is, you never know when he's going to come. The day of the ward round, you can stand around all day and he doesn't come. Next day, for no good reason at all, he'll be there sharing a laugh in the staff room. Or at least you think it might be him, but you never can tell. But there must be some way I can get to see him. Well, there is one way I've heard of. 
but it's very risky. I don't like this. Shh. Look, we can go back. It's not such a good idea. We could be tucked up warm in bed. But this way we can escape. We can leave Round A Wing behind forever. What? Leave? Leave forever? Yes, forever. They say the birds tell him when someone's approaching. Yeah, yeah, they say that he controls everything. I don't believe all that. You don't know Remo. Remo's a fascist. But he's our only chance of getting out of here for good. <gasps> Look, what's that? Yeah, in that clearing, it's a light. There's somebody there. <gasps> a shadowy shape by the fire. It's Remo. Oh, Remo. Who is out there? Come forward. Let me see. It's only us. We, we, we didn't mean to disturb you. We're only taking a stroll. Fascist. I heard that. How did you get here? Why do you disturb my peace? We've come to demand that you release us from the spell of Round A Wing. Ha! Ha! To demand? Yes. That I release you? Yes. From the spell? Oh, for goodness sake, look, you can sign the paper that will release us. Then we'll never have to go back to that place. And why do you think you deserve to be released? We're, we've done nothing wrong. No. no, we're not criminals. And what gives you the right to release us? You fascist. Enough. One more word of that and I will call upon my minions. I will have you thrown into the oh. outer darkness. Whence you shall never return. <gasps> Not today, Hospital! You will be tormented by demons for all eternity! Not the assertive outreach team! Oh no, not that! Please, please, we'll do anything! Oh, I've had enough of this. What are you doing? I'm gonna see what's underneath that mask. <gasps> it isn't a no, mask! This isn't a mask! It isn't a mask! He really is half rhino! <laughs> Look, I told you it was just a mask. He's just an ordinary man. Please, don't hurt me. It was only a game. Some game? Yeah, we didn't think it was a game when you made us wait in the ward round for three hours. Three hours in the ward round? When we came to you complaining about side effects and you put the dose up. When you stopped leave on the weekend of Princess Di's funeral. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll make amends. That'll be nice. From now on, I promise. So, you're gonna sign the paper and let us go? I can't do that. Why not? Why, Why can't, can't you? Because if I do, they will be angry with me. Who, who, who'll be angry? They will be. The ones above me. The magic bullet makers. The what? You all thought I was the one in charge. But there is one greater than me. He is the king of the magic bullet makers. He lives far away, over the mountain, um overdose, beyond the valley, um overdose. Oh. Well, that's it. We'll have to go back. We can't go all that way. No, we've got to go on. It's our only chance. <laughs> Where are we now? Who knows? We're lost. Look at those birds. Are they vultures? No, they're too big. They look like pterodactyls. But they're too stiff. Look, they can hardly walk. They're shaking all over. They must be Largactyls there. We're in some kind of lost world. Look at those mountains of grey ash and these piles of ancient armchairs everywhere. It's the valley of the Eternal Day Centre. The land where the television has never switched off. Listen! Look at that murky brown liquid bubbling up. It's tea. There must be a huge underground reservoir. We must be close to the level of the water table. Or oh, the tea table. Look over there. Oh! Skeletons! All in rows of armchairs. I love the armchairs. Mugs of tea. And it's still hot. And look! 
Some of them have still got burnt out stubs in their mouths. Mm. They died with their fags in. Anybody got a fag? Anybody got a Rizzler? He's a cigarette, mate. Have you what got a fag? Somebody give me some tobacco. Can we play ping pong? Go on, can we play ping pong? I want my cigarettes, I want my cigarettes! I want my cigarettes! He's a fag, mate, will you? We've got to keep moving. This is no place to hang around. Look out! I want my cigarettes! I want my cigarettes! He's a fag, mate, will you? Everybody got a fag. <gasps> We've made it to the foothills! Do you hear music? What is it? I don't know, but we better go and see. You never want to be in a one hour job. job. We don't take your medicine. Come back, come back, come back in a rewind style. Hub, dub, toil and trub. Take another tablet and stick it in your gob. You're never going to be in a one. You never get a job if you don't take your medicine. You don't take your drugs. Take a little chemical from Borton down. Mix it, wax it, stir it down. Take a little chemical inside your head. See what that does to your head. Because you need rewiring. You said it on the socks. You haven't been taking. You prescribe drugs. Hey, you want a little irony? Try this for size. I've forgotten the second verse, but here it comes again. It's the magic bullet maker. What can we do? There's only one thing that will work against magic bullet makers. Give me that aromatherapy gun. Be careful, it's dangerous. Is it loaded? Sure. What with? Sandalwood. No good, too subtle. What else have you got? Lemon, uh, nice scented stock, uh, Hunslet lavender. Uh... Hunslet lavender, perfect. Load it up double dose. Okay, when I say go, we rush them. We have the top pharmaceutical crew. Whatever you want, we can do it for you. We can take you up, we can take you down, we can take you on a trip to the weird side of town. And when you come back, you just won't be the same because you'll be dancing our little game. And you want some irony? Try this for size. I could be up for the Nobel Prize for all of my work on the human condition and all of the time I'll be raking in the millions. Hub, dub, toil and trub. Take another tablet and stick it in your gob. Hub, dub, toil and trub. Take another tablet and stick it in your go. gob. Go! Oh, dub, toil and trub. Take another tablet and stick it in your gob. Okay, the game's up. Oh, what the hell's going on? We're wise to you. Tip out that cold. No, 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 you can't do that. What the hell are you doing? That was high quality medicine. You're totally irresponsible. No, it wasn't. It was crap. Oh, OK, you're right. What's the deal? What do you want? We want to be released from the spell of Round Wing, and we've been told only the king of the magic bullet makers can do it. No, no one's seen the king for 15 years. He fears contamination. He lives in a protected zone. His food is placed in a special chamber, and his rooms are cleaned by special filter. He only ever communicates by email. OK, come on, this way. No, no, you can't go in there. And there were tulips, I seem to recall. Yes, he bought them for the room, crimson tulips. He was standing by the window as the train went past, so you didn't hear what I said properly. You turned around with that smile of yours, rosemary for remembrance, but what is for forgetting? We've come to demand that you release us from the spell of round, eh, Wing? What can I do? Well, everyone says you have the power. Ah, alas. Would that it were so. What? It means chance to be a fine thing. Oh. You mean you don't have the power? Oh, sure, I have power. Power's easy. I am the owner of a multinational industrial pharmaceutical empire. I have power. And power isn't enough, you see. What do you mean? Look, I'm tired. I've made billions. Where did it get me? I'm alone. I can spend a million every day on some new toy, holiday wherever I like. I could buy a country if I wanted, but what on earth would I do with it? No, it seems to me that I've been searching for something that no longer exists. That photograph? My Rosemary, gone forever. She loved me, but I felt I had to prove myself to her. I had to make money give her everything she wanted, but she only wanted. Mm. Hmm? Mm. She, she only wanted. Love? Yes, love. If only I knew then. But it's not too late. <laughs> 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 no, it's never too late. <laughs> Julian. <gasps> Rosemary, it's you. 
Why, Rosemary, and you've learned to play the violin. Yes, oh, Julian, sweetheart. How could I ever leave you? Because I was stupid, foolish, greedy and bad-tempered. Yes, there was that, but now we're together. We'll never be parted. I declare a national holiday. But you can't do that. Only the Queen can do that. Oh, I'll email her. She'll be all right about it. Oh. I intend to disband my empire right now. What? Yes. From now on, my factories will only be used for the manufacture of wholesome goods. But you can't do that. What about me? I've been thinking. Seems to me I built this empire because I wanted to forget. Perhaps I wanted the world to forget. If everything was forgotten, then perhaps I could be free. But now I know true freedom only comes when you can remember everything. Look, I'll see you all right. You can do the music. Ah, cool. I'll take out a subscription to Greenpeace and we'll send a million immediately to the Zapatistas. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Well, what about our freedom? How do you mean? Well, everybody seems to think that you can set us free. Look, it served my purpose for people to think that I was in charge of everything. But the truth is, I have no power at all. You're free already. Oh! But tomorrow, when we wake up, we'll still be on round wing. No, you see, you have woken up already. And now no one can make you go back. We don't have to go back. And they never did. They escaped into the spaces. And as dawn came up over East Leeds, hair hills gleamed like the New Jerusalem. And you could almost believe that God sees every sparrow fall after a quiet night on Roundy Wing. Yeah, we were down and we were out. We thought there was nothing to shout about. We were down in the mouth. We had a long face. And the treatment we got was such a disgrace. But we didn't give up and we didn't lie down because we knew better times were coming around. So we got out at last. Now it's all in the past. And we know these times are going to last. Because being mad is not all bad when you realise it's the world that's sad. Nobody owns us. We're free at last. We're nobody's fools, we're our own fools. We're, we're nobody's, nobody's fools, fools, we're our own fools! fools.